Thank you so much. And now I ask that you, you give your attention to our platinum sponsor, Finical. And I believe David has joined us backstage. I have, Wendy. Good morning. Hi. Good morning. How are you? Oh, look, we have similar backgrounds. I'm in green and you're in blue. We represent CAP perfectly. <laughs> David, take it away. It's your, your time. Thank you, Wendy. I appreciate it. And uh, it's great to be with everyone this morning. Thank you for, uh, for being here. I've certainly enjoyed being somewhat a fly on, a wall, on the wall over the past uh, 36 hours or so. Some really uh, great, informative, energizing sessions uh, that I've had the opportunity to listen in on and uh, really some good, thoughtful stuff. Uh, Wendy, as I've said here, my name is, uh, is David McConney. I'm with Infosys Finical, and uh, I'm responsible for our business across the Caribbean region. Uh, some of my more recent experiences include working with a large U.S. core banking system uh, vendor. Um, but prior to that, I spent a number of years with CIBC and came a national bank in the Caribbean region. So um, for me, it's, it's great to be back. Um, it, it's clear that uh, listening to others who've come before me, that the industry challenges are consistent. And I thought in the short time that I have with everyone this morning, I would try to talk a little bit about what I describe as the why for Infosys Finical. Why is it that for us, we focus on business model transformation and using leveraging products and services to help our customers accomplish that? The, the, the really trendy, um, I guess, modern uh, management acronym that, that we see referenced often is this notion of VUCA. And many of you, I'm sure, have heard it. Um, and, but I thought that I would just take a moment to frame it in the context of today's environment. Words that or thoughts that include volatility, uncertainty, complexity, ambiguity, all of the things that as an, as an industry, as a region, uh, we face on a consistent basis and that are translated into what I would describe as these key business drivers that sort of create the burning platform, the sense of urgency that attaches to transforming uh, business models and, and doing so um, in a much more urgent manner than we've ever been faced with. At, um, at Finical, we think that our customers must find new sources of revenue. They must do business differently. And they must seek to do that with customer-led or customer-centered business strategies. And that's really the why for us. It's framed around these three business imperatives that in fact are 
not just important for success, but indeed are important for business survival. So I was interested yesterday listening to our three CEOs, as I refer to them. I hope they won't mind me calling them that, or the, the, the three amigos maybe, um, from NCB, Republic, and Belize Bank. And they talked in a very spirited fashion about the need for business transformation at speed and scale. And for us, they are spot on. Terms like personalization, consumerization, mobility, acceleration, they all require a, a reimagining of the business model as we have known it in the past. A reimagining that is really an imperative as a consequence of what we have gone through over the last almost 24 months now. I remember when this started, we, um, we, we thought it was, it was maybe months, but here we are almost two years later, still looking for um, the, 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 the right ending uh, to what has become uh, really a very se serious and significant event. And so this business model innovation transformation is very much more than just the sort of proverbial technology lipstick on the pig. It, it, it's, it's bigger than that. And um, it, it's, it's some of what we spend our time thinking about in the context of the three dimensions that drive business model transformation or business model innovation. And one of the things that is important and was called out by each of those panelists when we heard them speak yesterday was the fact that technology is not the only solution, um, that there are these balanced and equal doses in terms of the approach to the resolution. And so it comes not just from technology, but we heard discussion about culture and shifts in culture. We heard discussions about training and learning initiatives, about different business processes, agile de development and delivery processes. And importantly, Nigel made the point that we own the data and the leveraging of that customer data and an unrelenting focus as a consequence on customer experience. So to be sure, there are some technology considerations that are key. And we work with our customers to try to understand how best to define those technology strategies in creating and embracing the right business model going forward, whether that's an API-led or API-first strategy, whether it's supporting their strategies and relationships with other fintech partners and parties outside of the pure Infosys Finical ecosystem, but the things that are important to help support growth, efficiency, and scalability objectives. What I have really appreciated in my relatively short time with uh, Finical, I joined in March of this year, um, is the fact that the organization that I work for works with many, many client organizations across the globe. And so we get the opportunity to experience, experiment, support initiatives in a number of different areas of, of, of opportunity, whether it's how do we understand and better leverage open banking, whether it's this API-driven, partner-led, um, third-party kind of a, uh, um, uh, objective or initiative that allows introduction of new and different applications and solutions for the customer like, like Paytm, um, like some of the buy now, pay later strategies 
like some of the consumer-led mobile lending um, strategies, and, and, and also beyond that, some of the strategies that will leverage solutions outside of the traditional industry, but also leveraging data that allows our customers to sort of really focus on lifestyle and lifestyle changes from a customer experience perspective that has the added benefit of creating a, an approach that, that generates additional activities, objectives, and results beyond that. As I said, it, um, it, it really is about this, what the, the three amigos referred to as the balanced approach to, to the, the concept of agile banking for beyond. There are some key foundational aspects that are part and parcel of the arsenal of objectives and solutions that are required to bring innovation to life. It's not just about a change in core banking platforms or an addition of some ancillary uh, application that, that allows us to, to, to provide that solution to the customer. It is indeed about a transformation that starts from within the organization, at the workforce, at the workplace, at the way we do work at the way we scale our work and the capabilities that we, that we deliver. And ultimately, and over, overlaying all of that are the aspects of technology and data that we bring to the table. So that's part and parcel of what is our why, what, what gives us the passion, gets us going every morning. And I think importantly, yes, the destination, but, but more important than that is this concept of the journey, the constant pursuit of excellence, the constant approach to, well, we did it this way, what about this way? How do we expand our view beyond just the old way of doing things, but looking at the adjacent things and indeed finding entirely new things to do? And so for us, it's, it's that journey that allows us to change the, the paradigm from one of volatility, uncertainty, complexity, and ambiguity to one instead of what is the vision? How do we communicate an understanding broadly across the organization of that vision? How do we create clarity around execution and alignment against all of the teams that are working together to accomplish that. You know, I, as I mentioned earlier that I really enjoy the ability to learn through others. And we have the, the rich wealth of a global customer base that allows us to really experience many of uh, their business objectives, their key drivers, and to help them to accomplish that. I really look forward to meeting many of you, both virtually and over time, face-to-face -face as we get behind and move towards, Wendy, I think you referred to it yesterday as the, the next normal, the next normal in our existence, so that we can uh, we can take advantage of some of these um, relationships, look to what we've accomplished from a, uh, from a mobility reach perspective, from a digitization strategy, and to sort of move towards that, that next normal. Part of the reason that, uh, that I, I so enjoy the opportunity uh, that I am experiencing with uh, Finical is the fact that we have this strong commitment to the Latin America Caribbean region and to be a part of that and to really sort of look at how we truly expand and change our business models to leverage and take advantage of the, the, the opportunities that are in front of us. So thank you all for um, taking the time to visit with me, albeit briefly this morning. 
Uh, best wishes for a successful journey in business model transformation. And I look forward very much to, um, to spending more time with you over the remainder of the conference and indeed beyond that in the days, weeks, and months to come. Wendy, thank you. Wonderful. Thank you so much, David, for that presentation. I think certainly from my vantage point and based on what we've heard from our presenters and the panel this morning before you, um, it sounds like we certainly do have the right sponsors to meet the needs of our members. So again, I implore you to take some time throughout the course of the day to visit with our sponsors. David, thank you again so much for the confidence that you continue to place in CAB and we look forward to our continued collaboration going forward. Wendy, thank you so much. Very nice Pleasure. to see you. Take care. Wonderful. Same. All right.